Hello again, my name is Dan Leroy. I am the President and CEO of United Way of Asheville and Buncombe County. And thank you for joining me for another installment of our vlog series. You know, one of the first things I did when I was hired here at United Way just over a year ago was to work with my team to refresh our strategic planning process. We've always been focused on reducing poverty um, and the impact of poverty on all of our neighbors. Um, but as we approach our centennial anniversary, we thought it was the right time to revise just how we go about doing this work. And so after a, a very rigorous planning process, we came up with a framework that includes uh, some strategies that we think are gonna make a real difference in the lives of students and families across our community. And at the heart of this framework is our community school strategy. So now that school is back in session, um, in this COVID era, we're gonna dedicate a few chapters in this vlog series to exploring the community school strategy, what it is, how it works, who are the players, uh, and why ultimately we think that this is one of the best opportunities that we have as a community and as a united way to address the, the root causes and consequences of poverty in our community in a way that's really rooted in equity. And now with the impact of COVID-19 on schools and students and our education system, uh, the timing couldn't be better for this approach. So to do that, I am really pleased to invite uh, Laura Elliott, who is our Senior Director of Community Schools and Network Development, to help host this vlog for the next few months. And um, she'll help us take a deep dive into the community school strategy. It's been my pleasure and my honor to have shared uh, my thoughts about our work over the past several months. I wanna thank all the guests who have taken time out of their busy schedules to come and share their part of the story. Um, and thank you for being uh, attentive and uh, engaging with us during this work. Uh, I know we'll talk again in the near future. And so with that, I wanna turn it over to Laura. Laura, are you there? Hey Dan, yeah, I'm really excited to be hosting this fall series on community schools and all the great work that's happening out there with our network of school and community partners across Asheville and Buncombe County. Um, and for those new to the community school work, um, I always like to say the simplest definition of community schools is that it's a strategy about wrapping our community around supporting our schools and using our schools as hubs of support and service to community. Um, and, you know, in March, when the pandemic hit and school buildings needed to close, we talked a lot about the fact that just because the buildings weren't closed, that network of support, the strategies that were put in place, um, they couldn't stop. In fact, they needed to be stronger. We needed to be working smarter, um, stronger, better than we ever had before. So what have we been up to as we're getting back into this new school year? Our community school coordinators who are working full time at Asheville, Inca, Irwin, Owen. And this year we're very excited to announce now Reynolds Middle. Um, they're up to a few things. One is they're working really hard with the principals and the student services team and teachers to find kids who aren't um, attending or engaging in class um, and making sure reaching out to them. Um, going out into community, going out to neighborhoods, and uh, finding students and families and seeing what supports they may need so that they can get re-engaged in class and in learning this fall. Um, they're also doing a lot of work to help our community partners connect with students. So you can imagine that can be a challenging thing to do if you were running a tutoring or mentoring program or after school program that was happening at the schools. Um, and again, those partners are as determined as ever to bring really vital services um, and supports to students and families. So that's taking a lot of creativity and ingenuity. And so it's great to see those partners working together with the school to make sure that students um, still have those tutoring and supporting and after school programs um, to support them again and going into this virtual school year. Another thing that our coordinators are just are doing a lot of and talking a lot about and trying to raise awareness about is certainly um, the struggle that this is for teachers and educators who are doing a pretty amazing job converting 
um, you know, to, to remote learning and trying to make the Zoom sessions as engaging as possible. And um, they're doing a fantastic job, but it certainly takes its toll when um, the kids that you love and you work, you work with and you work for are, you know, not, not in the building and not in your classroom. And so just trying to send a lot of love and support and caring to our teachers and educators and school social workers and counselors um, that are on the front lines and, and working really hard. Um, with regards to our network of school and community partners, back in March, um, we started meeting in the spring. We met every week, met a couple times this summer, and now back into the fall, we're meeting every other week. But we have about 75 school and community partners that show up to the virtual convenings. Um, there's so much happening right now, so much changing quickly um, as we're trying to evolve and stay nimble and responsive to what's happening with the pandemic, um, with the racial justice movement, with all the hardships, economic hardships our students and families are facing. So we felt it was really important to bring people together on a very regular basis, sort of create an information highway um, of accurate information, of up-to-date information, so that if you're you know, a health and human services partner or a higher education partner or a mentoring and tutoring program, um, that sort of you're in the know and you've got a really tight team um, across the city and the county to reach out to for problem solving, for resource sharing, for alignment of strategies. So again, we can be working smarter, stronger, and better together as that network of school and community partners. So we're really excited um, to share with you all the great things that are happening um, this fall. So stay tuned, stay tuned to the vlog. Um, look forward to seeing you next week. Everybody stay safe, stay connected. Let's live united.